So hello again. I am a member here at UCA, and I'm also one of the co-chairs of the newly established Whitney Young Junior Society. The Whitney Young Junior Society is a fellowship of African Americans working within UCA to help it achieve its highest aspirations of being a beacon of anti-racism, anti-oppression, and multiculturalism for our faith, city, nation, and world. Be great! <laughs> so, thank you so much for being a part of our very first program here. So, we are grateful. Even 
though she was one of the most published writers of her time, after she died, she died broke. She died with most of her works um, out of print. And really, it was the efforts of Alice Walker to restore a light on Dornell Thurston's legacy that brought her work back to us, so that by the time I was an English major at Emory, I was reading her class, reading her novels as a part of assigned courses. But without Alice Walker really taking it upon herself to write about Zora Neale Hurston, to even purchase a headstone for her grave, mm -hmm. and to really put her name out there again, we probably would not be talking about her even today. Now the other interesting connection though with Alice Walker and Zora Neale Hurston and Langston Hughes is that Alice Walker's very first short story, when she was still a college student and trying to become established as a writer, the person who gave her her very first opportunity to be published was Langston Hughes. So it's fascinating to just see these relationships across time and this legacy of African American culture that we're honoring tonight. Langston Hughes, by the time Alice, by the time he published Alice Walker's story, he didn't even really know who she was. He just read the story. It was passed on to him by one of her professors. And he thought she had talent and showed promise. And we know that he was right. But Langston Hughes is someone who's written in almost every genre. Novels, history, plays. A lot of what we will celebrate tonight, though, is his poetry. He was known as a poet of the people. And so I hope that you will be inspired by us paying tribute to these writers tonight. <laughs>